Welcome back to a full week of eating, 2,000 calories, high protein style, but this is a special edition deload week. So I have not done a deload, and if I'm shaking, guys, even a deload gets you jacked and hyped, okay? We're going to talk about it. I haven't done a deload since probably Christmas. You're technically, if you need a deload, you're supposed to do one every like 12 to 15 weeks. It's way overdue. I actually had one scheduled the first week when we started the Next Level Shred in April, and I was like, that's not happening. So I pushed it back, keep pushing it back, and it caught up with me if you caught last week's vlog, and I had already had this scheduled, and what perfect timing because I totally need it. So a deload is either when you half, like 50% lessen your load that you've been doing your weight, or you half your reps, or some people just don't work out an entire week and give their body a full weeks of rest. So what I like to do is I like to decrease the load by 50%, do as many reps as I feel like I need to do. By no means is a deload easy, okay? Was it easier than what I normally do on a regular? Hells yes, but was it easy? No, I find that the deload workouts are such a freaking burn because you were slowing things down, you're controlling my mind muscle connection, really feeling it. So it's still a kick-ass workout. So don't think that when you're going into a deload, if you need one, that you're like being a weak ass B because you're not. You're, you're doing what's needed for your body and your mind. More importantly, your mind. I tell you guys all the time. Today started off strong. I'm feeling it. Next week is supposed to be the week of the shark and that's usually my strongest week. So we're going to deload this week and next week, hopefully come back even She-Hulk kick ass and just hit PRs and break records and all the things for my personal self. It's always me versus me. Had our Pop-Tart this morning. Yes, your girl's eating a Pop-Tart. I swear by them damn Pop-Tarts. I have so many of you guys that have messaged me and told me the same. I have a lot of ladies that follow me that are into bodybuilding and they like swear by the Pop-Tart. So like they are, are their little secret gym, okay? Rice Krispies, no. Like I tried them last summer and they did absolutely nothing for me. I will tell you that the gummies, the little fruit snacks that I did over this summer with the early mornings, they were fire. So anything that like is quick absorbent into your bloodstream that has got a good amount of carbs, sugar, you're going to burn it off guys. So I know a lot of people get so freaking hyped in their head about eating certain things. There's a purpose of why I'm eating a pop tart. It's not because I necessarily, oh my gosh, pop tarts were, they were my jam back in the day, but it's not like I have to have that. It's not a hell yes or a pass for me, you know, but I'm eating it for a purpose. It serves a purpose it is making me have kick-ass workouts so that's why I'm doing the pop-tart y'all know I always do the rice cake with the honey and the bananas that's a good pre-workout I found too 
I've talked about cereal is just not a vibe as far as like what you get for the calories. It is so dangerous. If you are somebody that like is addicted to cereal and you're on a journey and you have problems with not like eating it, y'all know I never tell you guys to take things out of the house. I always tell you guys to allot it in your macros, but I feel like cereal is something that you should just get rid of. If it's something that you cannot control yourself around because you get nothing for the calories, at least like with an Oreo, you get like two Oreos Oreos for like what 140 calories y'all 140 calories of cereal is like a bite I ain't about that you know I'm not about that life so if you have problems with the cereal just get rid of it until you can control yourself and have some portion control and y'all don't see me eating that except for the pre-workout so again some things that are only serving their purpose for nothing else so I'm gonna take you through the full week this week of my workouts the whole experience with my deload if the deload is serving me working for me and my thoughts and experiences with it in case that you might want to do a deload if you are lifting super duper heavy guys with intention for failure then you might have to do a deload every 15 weeks 12 weeks something like that just to give your body a little bit of rest so you can come back even stronger your mind too sometimes we get burnt out with doing this for so long so a deload might be for you if you've been doing this for a long long time and you've been lifting super heavy if you're a beginner deloads aren't really necessary for you but if you've been doing it for a good amount of time and you are like been training for a while and you're feeling a little bit of a way a DLO might be just the medicine for you. So we've got our second meal of the day. Pop-Tart was number one. Lunch, dinner, and dessert. I've been focusing on three big meals and then just my dessert, which is usually a protein bar. I know I'm so boring, but I keep things basic, guys, because it makes things easier. It makes it easier to track in your tracker if you're tracking macros. Instead of trying to reinvent the wheel, instead of having a million different ingredients, try to keep it as simple and basic as possible to where you're hitting your calories and hitting your protein goal, and that way you're not feeling stressed and overwhelmed because I find that nutrition, logging way and tracking your food, meal prepping, grocery shopping, meal planning. That is the hardest part of this journey for most people. Showing up to the gym, this is the easy part, going into the gym and doing a workout that somebody has set for you or whatever you want to do for yourself. But all the other ish, if you're not prepared and prepped for that, you can get yourself in trouble real, real quick. So that is what I always stress to people in the program, which by the way, the next level September shred started today when I'm filming this. So let's go. It's week two when you guys are watching for them starting. So I cannot wait to see their progress for week one. Usually everybody in the program freaking kills it week one, obviously. And then uh, week two, pretty good. And then week three, like halfway through wherever the momentum starts to shift down. But I'm, I'm cheering everybody on and I'm here doing all the same shit with you guys. I'm just eating a little bit more, but guess what? Even when you're in maintenance, sometimes you have times when you're hungry and maintenance. So I'm with you guys. I'm with you every step of the way. And guess what? I'm here to tell you that you're stronger than you think and you freaking got this. And if you're not in the program, guys, and you're following along on the side with us, keep freaking going. Keep showing up. Keep doing the damn thing. Set yourself up for success and you will see progress over time. Not a quick fix, not overnight, but over time, if you keep at it, you're going to get results. I'm like jacked in hype. Let's keep this energy flowing throughout the day and throughout this freaking week. Meal number two, breakfast is my protein waffles. I have a whole dedicated video here on the recipe and that's just uh, the basic waffle mix, but you can add whatever Cody Ake cake waffle mix powder, whatever it's called. I'm doing the blueberry today and going blueberry themed. Y'all are not gonna see me do blueberry every day. I like to switch up the flavor profile. It's fun and delicious. I've got 80 grams of fresh blueberries. What you do is you put it in a bowl, you add a little bit of monk fruit sweetener just to cover it, no water, and microwave it for 40 seconds and it makes this blueberry like glaze goodness mash the berries a little bit. Oh my gosh, it makes a syrup. I don't even put syrup on this when I do it like that with the American Dream Nut Butter. We're doing the blue Blueberry cheesecake today. I have a serving, which is 28 grams, and that's 150 calories. Love this one so much. This one's almost empty, but I have two on backup because it's that good. And then we've got our protein coffee, and we have it pumpkin pie spice style today. For the macros popping up, it's going to fuel us. I've got cleaning to do. We spent all last week doing work, 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 which always got work to do, but I neglected cleaning stuff. So we're doing deep cleaning in my bedroom, which is overdue. 
and the bathrooms. Hashtag boys. I may have lied when I said I was going to do different profiles of flavors all week because it's so freaking good. Oh my gosh, this blueberry cheesecake almond butter. You need this. And Burgess gets you a discount with all American drink. Guys, that is just, that is, that is a snack compared to my stash, you know, but my stash is dwindling down. I need to make an order, honestly, because I am out of so many of my favorites and I'm afraid they're gonna like poof disappear soon. So I need to get on that train for sure. Like I need any more. Look, y'all, I have like 20 shamrockins in the cabinet. I'm just saying, but we need more than just shamrockin in our life. We got other favorites too. But that like blueberry syrup little hack I told you in the microwave, next level guys. And cheap and freaking easy. Look, people come for me all the time for the stupidest crap, microwave and all. Y'all need this in your life. Y'all need easy routes sometimes. Like I say to do hard things all the time, but you don't have to go hard on the stupid stuff with like, like your meals and all. You know what I mean? Like make your life as simple as possible where where it needs to be simple. It is 2:19. I am cleaning. I am getting things done. This is what I'm calling the Southwest Bowl Chicken Bowl. It is super basic and easy. I just got done filming a reel and for some reason Instagram was glitching and it was being so freaking difficult to make a 10 second reel like sometimes technology, I swear. But I am trying for the first time and y'all excuse a little scrappy aka the robo robot vac. In the background, the old El Paso creamy queso sauce. I watch cooking for gains on TikTok. He's a bodybuilder. He's like goofy as all hell, but I love him. 20 calories for one tablespoon. I've got two tablespoons on there. He swears by this stuff. And then we're going with convenience because my avocados have been giving me headaches. So I've got the squeezable guac on there. We've got some rice that I meal prepped yesterday, some Tyson black and chicken tenders, and some chi cheese salsa for the macros popping up. I'll update you guys on how all this is. Like once we mix it all together, I have a feeling it's going to be fire. Verdict on the Southwest chicken bowl. You should have already seen it for that reel because I know I'm going to be or already did post it. I don't know my thoughts on this because I mixed it all up and I, I wasn't able to taste it like on its own. I definitely tasted a cheesy taste of the bowl. So I, it's coming from this, but hmm, I'm gonna have to try this on like a quesadilla or on eggs. I mean, the possibilities are endless with this. I'm here for it. However, I, Jen, I know you love this. My girl in with Jen here on YouTube, but there's something, there's a weird taste about it. I don't know. I got the avo verdin or whatever they're called the avocado cups from sam's club is what i'm trying to say and i like those because they're plain jane anything that has like anything added to it it just throws it off for me i like plain avocado and i add my own seasonings but my avocados have been acting funky on me that's why i've went this route so it's not like going bad or they're not ready so i'm gonna try the the cups tomorrow and i'll let you know if that makes a difference because something was throwing it off and i'm pretty sure it was that because i had it on my like sourdough combo the other day and it threw that off too so hmm, i don't think i'm a fan of it we're gonna try the plain jane and but other than that fire and easy and filling i am stuck go ahead and prep and dinner this is one of my new found favorites from pinterest they're called crack burgers Y'all, they are crack. They are so good. It's the best at-home burger I've ever made. I mentioned that on my Instagram stories. I have it saved to my recipe highlights. Always there, guys. If you're not following me, give me a follow over there. Real-time stuff, lots of stuff that's easy to go back and find versus a YouTube video as well. But these are my favorite, y'all. They taste like restaurant so flipping good. Here's my adjustments and I will have the link to the original recipe with the adjustments typed out for you as well. So I use 93% ground beef. I just get the kind from Sam's Club. It's the cheapest around me. It's like four something a pound unheard of at any other store, Aldi, Walmart, all the places. It's the best deal and it works great for this recipe. They're not dry at all. And the reason why they're not dry is because the original recipe calls for sour cream. I use non-fat Greek yogurt. I use 42 grams of this and I know we hate the word moist. I don't care, but most of you guys do but these burgers are so juicy and delicious because of that and because of the bacon pieces real crumble bacon whatever you have the reg original recipe calls for bacon but i just use this because this is what i had for the first time and it was so good i don't want to mess with it so 50 grams of crumbled bacon and instead of regular cheddar cheese i use Velveeta shreds 112 grams of those you know you know i mean don't come for me making progress with the Velveeta and it tastes fire and i still use two tablespoons tablespoons of ranch seasoning like she calls for and y'all know I'm cooking these babies on the Blackstone but look how big they're eight ounces when you weigh it out to divide it 
8 ounce patties. Let's go. They are so good. The macros for one burger, just going to go ahead and tell you before I add toppings and everything else. The burger is 365 calories and 47 grams of protein. I like to eat mine lettuce wrapped, as you guys see over there, <laughs> getting ready to go. Got it dry in because you can taste all the flavors of it and it's not masked by a bun. I love a bun on a burger now. Don't get me wrong. I'm not anti carb, you guys know. But for me, if it's, I, burgers are probably my second favorite food. I want to taste all the meaty, delicious, bacon, cheesy goodness in it. And lettuce wrap does it. And guess what? You're saving over 100 calories and you can put that towards your french fries. Think smarter, not harder, fam. Here is our crack burger bunless dinner. We've got four ounces of the Aura Ida crinkle cuts, the golden ones. They are so good. I mean, 133 calories for that amount. And I didn't have to cut potatoes. I know, lazy route, but they're good. And we have been enjoying them and cheap at Sam's Club. And here's all the condiments I'm using. We got pickles, no sugar barbecue sauce, no sugar ketchup, and light mayo on there for the macros popping up for a burger night that tastes like you freaking ordered out. Mm -mm -mm. The best and so freaking easy, might I add. I just am mind blown every time. The second time we've eaten them. I have a list now that I've made in my notes on my phone like of must family dinners. Now the boys did not eat those. They're not big burger fans, honestly. I um, they like sliders better, but not like big burgers. So if you follow me on Instagram, I've been making those grilled cheese dogs. We had them last night on Sunday since I didn't have any leftovers and they are obsessed. So they requested those instead of burgers. So that's what they had, but that's good because me and the hubs will have leftovers for one more night. 719, never skip dessert. Are you guys surprised? We're doing a protein bar. We're doing the Fit Crunch. This is my favorite flavor from the Fit Crunch is the chocolate peanut butter. It tastes like a whatchamacallit candy bar to me. I've only got a few more left and then I guess I'm gonna bust into the peanut butter and jelly one. That one's good too, but this is hands down my favorite one and the one I always reach for. So that's gonna end out our Monday deload day number one we've got leg day number one tomorrow Day. Leg day number one on our D-Lo day number two, fire. Fire felt so good in there. Oh my gosh, the energy was just next level. And even though we've dropped the weight, guys, like I mentioned yesterday, it's still a killer burn when you are going slow, concentrating on mind-muscle connection. Oh my gosh, you can get such a good workout in. So don't think because you are, you know, lifting a little bit lower than somebody else that you may see, if you're doing the right form and if you're slowing things down and really concentrating, guys, you are getting 
the same effect. You're getting the same effect. Now our goal is to go up in weight, progressively overload so we can build muscle, right? But don't compare yourself to others. Do what you can do. Stay in your own lane. We are all so individualized. I have to remind myself the same thing because I look up to so many people on social media and look at them and they might be the same age as me, the same height, you know, body build and stuff. And they might be lifting like way heavier than me. And then I get in my head, but you know what? that has nothing to do with you. It's nothing to do with you. Felt so good with doing the exercises. Y'all see, I'm a sweaty mess. A lot of you guys in the shred program have been talking about being a hot mess express with sweating. Leg day always gets me. Upper body day, I sweat a little bit, but in my heart rate usually is like super high during upper day because I go hard on upper. Y'all know it's my favorite. But on leg day, I'm like sweating and getting like such a burn. It's unreal. Let's talk about today's Pop-Tart. We did the Apple Jacks. I can only find that one at Target. Y'all, if you like apple cinnamon flavor, that is, I've only done this, I mean, I've tasted a million of them back in the day in our plus size days, you know what I'm saying? But as far as recently, the strawberry and I did the blueberry like bites are the only ones that I've tried. But let me tell you, that is my new favorite. It's the same calories as the strawberry one. It tastes so flipping good. I was, I was shook. I was blown away by the Pop-Tarts and I've had so many people come for me for the Pop-Tarts lately. We might do a whole dedicated video on that. I also wanna talk about something that I've been getting a lot of messages about here as of late, and that is loose skin. Loose skin has been like the topic of subject. I need to do a dedicated video on that as well, but if you guys really looked at me doing my like in pose today, I have loose skin, guys. I have loose skin everywhere, like, and it gets in my head sometimes too. Being overweight for so long of my life having two kids, C-sections especially, um, I have a lot of loose skin in the stomach area like most women do. Most women have like fat in the stomach area. All mine is now loose skin, I can attest. Like I even picked up my skin the other day and like pulled it up and I was like, oh my gosh, this is like ridiculous. If I could only cut this off. And that's the only way I'm gonna get rid of most of my loose skin. Now has it lessened in appearance? when I've been strength training, absolutely. My stomach looks totally different now than it did when I was on keto, and I weighed way less when I was on keto than I do now, but my stomach looks way better, in my opinion, now, bigger, more muscle, more core strength than it ever did when I was like a super skinny size. So just know that if you keep at it, guys, it's going to lessen over time, but you're never gonna get rid of it completely unless you get it surgically removed. But what I wanna say is, it's okay. We all have loose skin. Even your like fittest of the fit. I follow a couple of, of really fit. They've been doing this for a long time. And I really appreciate that they take the time to show you and say, Hey, look, here's all my imperfections. What you see online isn't everything. We show you what we want to show you. Right. And they like show their loose skin, like bend over and stuff. So we all have it guys. We all have it, but guess what? I would rather be hella strong how I am now with all the muscle with this loose skin versus being 230 pounds unhealthy could barely do anything back pain depression all the things and have that loose skin you know what I'm saying so it's it's like pick your pick your battles pick your heart you just have to get out of your own head because you know what the only one that's seen that loose skin the way that you're seeing it each and every day is you and your significant other and your significant other isn't even looking at you in the light that you look at yourself and in the mirror. We are our own worst critics. Every time the shred members, when we do a shred program, I have them take their front side and back pictures and they send them to me for qualifying for the prizes in the beginning and in the end. In the beginning, it's always so mentally tough for them to take those pictures because they don't wanna look at themselves in that light. But sometimes it is a wake up call too, but just know that you are looking at yourself the worst that anybody else will look at yourself. You are your own worst critic. When I look at those pictures, when y'all send them in, I, and I'm not bullshitting you guys, I'm not blowing smoke up your ass when I say this, I look at nothing but the like best in you, like how beautiful you are, your smile. Like a lot of you guys have like great definition in your glutes already. Like your arms look awesome. Like that's what I look at when y'all send your pictures, not all the things that you see when you look in the mirror. So just know that we all have imperfections. Nobody around here is perfect. And if they are telling you that, they are lying to you square in the face. I just wanna tell you today that 
I have the feels like you as far as body dysmorphia. I have the loose and saggy skin. I'm 40 years old. I have two kids. I have 230 pounds most of my life. I have it too, but I am still showing up, doing the damn thing, putting in the work and being my best, healthiest, most muscle self each and every day. And that is what matters most. We've got our breakfast on repeat today. I had to meal prep mine yesterday because I have a meeting at 11. It's 936. So I'm making really good time. I'm happy about that. So those waffles, they reheat great in a toaster, believe it or not, are in an air fryer. So I'm going to pop those in and add my toppings. I think I'm doing a pumpkin topping today. I, do, I use the Kodiak mix and the pumpkin flax. They sell that at Target now and it's really good. I had some actually from last year. So I'm using that up instead of buying any and we are going to get with our meeting i've got more cleaning to do lots of work to do like the agenda this week is non-stop i have something going on every day as far as meetings like dropping cars off all the things hashtag life y'all we're all going through it but you got this out there prioritize what's important to you and make it happen Y'all, I was so hungry. I mixed up the bowl and everything before I did an initial picture looking all pretty. It is what it is. I like it way better with regular avocado or these like regular avocado cups versus the guac. The guac gave it a weird flavor today. Spot on, y'all. That should be already shared on Instagram. Not sure about the YouTubes yet. If you've got the calories for it and you need some carbs in your life, mm, spot on. I also went ahead and got my grilled salsa verde pepper jack chicken ready. I've made this a million times. I'll have it linked for you guys down below, but it's just a marinade recipe and then you pop some pepper jack cheese on top and melt it. I like to cook it on the Blackstone. So good. Minimal ingredients, but tastes like flavor out of this world is what I'm all about. You just need basically some av olive oil, avocado oil, some of the salsa verde, some lime juice, cumin, pepper, what else it's got in there? Chicken and your cheese and that's it. That's why I like it so much, but it tastes so, so good. You can marinate it overnight. I just like to do mine at least an hour before. So it's gonna be about two hours before I pop it on the grill. This is what Taco Tuesday is looking around here. We've got that grilled salsa, verde, pepper jack chicken. I'll have it linked for you guys below. I've shared it a few times now. It's so good. Just cook it on the Blackstone and let that pepper jack get all melty. Add a little cilantro on top. Super good. I make mine make four servings. So this is a serving right here. And then I love to pair it with this minute jalapeno rice. I can only find this jalapeno one at Walmart. I know Target sells a cilantro, some other kind of flavor, but this one, I don't know about the other ones, but this one is so good. And it is 200 calories for a cup and just makes life convenient here for it. For the macros popping up, one of my favorite quick, like you want to talk about quick like no effort dinners. If you need super simple guys, it can be done. There's plenty of things to eat out there that aren't a million ingredients and take a million hours, I promise. Y'all, if you haven't made that grilled salsa verde chicken, I don't know what you're doing with your life. The flavor on it, the flavor from the lime juice and then the olive oil or avocado oil, whatever you like put in there in the marinade with that salsa verde gives it the best authentic like restaurant flavor i just cannot express how good it is linked below try it and come back and let me know what you thought 720 never skip dessert don't be surprised protein bar bear bells caramel cashew i know this one gets a lot of like shade like it's like the least favorite flavor from a lot of people but i like this one a lot it's probably in my tops as far as my favorite ones out of the four that I've tried. I think I've tried all of them, maybe except for one flavor. It's just not my jam as far as ordering goes. They have a new one out. Also, I'm watching the MTV Music Awards just to see in sync all on one stage again. They just like did an award. I don't even know if they're going to be singing, but if they are, I'm here for it. I know. Hashtag getting old hashtag nerd we've got a rest day tomorrow and uh we've got a busy week so it's much needed to rest and recuperate even if we're doing a deload we are still resting as always nothing's changing and i will see you guys on thursday for our upper day number two deload day number four the year is 1991 birds and people are living together in seemingly perfect harmony until one day a young man catches fire this is Phoenix.
rest day. This is deload day number four, upper body number two. Before we even talk about the gym, like squirrel random mo moments, y'all know I'm about that. Number one, this uh, Febreze, is this Febreze? Yeah, the small spaces. This is the crisp apple. Holy ish, y'all. It smells so freaking good. I just put it in the car before I went into the gym. I used the, what was it? The pumpkin spice one. This one's got way better throw than the other one. Dang, like forget these Bath and Body Works ones. I've been buying these and they have just not been, like they smell good for like three days and then it's over with. Like what the hell? These like last for about two weeks and then they're done, but they're like $2.50 a piece. No brainer. Other squirrel random moment. Uh, those Applejack Pop-Tarts, they the shit, okay? The shit and nothing but the shit. I'm just letting you guys know. I can only find those by me anyway at Target. So I know some of you guys are anti-Target, but Target, they got the specialty thing sometimes and you gotta suck it up in, do a pickup order or go in there, okay? Those are good. If you like apple cinnamon, they're gonna knock your socks off. So we had that this morning and I will tell you, these are my fields for day number number four for deload. I am ready to lift heavy. I love the like feeling of being strong AF. You guys know that's what I'm really chasing in my journey right now. And some things like, like I've mentioned before, killer burn when you're slowing it down and really concentrating on it. But then some things I'm like, just doesn't feel right without the heavy load. I am ready next week. I think next week's gonna be freaking fire kick ass. I will tell you guys, I keep everything straight and real with y'all. And some last week, I guess, thought I was complaining, but it's not me complaining. It's me sharing my real raw life with y'all. And I think so many of you guys relate and appreciate that because you go through the same things too and I'm not just some random person on the internet that is telling you what you want to hear not what you need to hear and like showing you all the perfect parts there's no perfect parts of me but you know what I'm saying like I like to keep it real and by me talking about my struggles what I am dealing with I think that most people can relate to that because they went through the same thing rather than me just coming on here with a smile all the time and telling you that things are hunky-dory when they're not it's not me complaining it's just me being hashtag real life and last week it was struggle bus and I will tell you that on my rest days last week and yesterday I don't know what it is maybe it's I'm worn down and need the damn rest day but on the rest days I'm feeling like total crap like I feel run down all day tired as hell it's just been a struggle on the rest days, but thankfully the d next day, today on Thursdays, they've been freaking fire. So hopefully that momentum carries into tomorrow. And what I wanna talk about today is self-consciousness. We've been talking about that, I think, throughout the week. I, you know, it's hard for me to remember all the ramblings that I do, but I broke out of my comfort zone today. I know, like your girl has insecurities. I talk about it all the time. Body dysmorphia, always still guys. It's gotten better, but there's still always things that I am working on myself to be 1% better each and every day. And I am my worst critic. We talked about that the other day. And I said, I got these sports bras, all right, they're from the Amazon. And I love a halter because it like, I love a sexy back, yeah, I've mentioned that before. And I love the Arola ones, but I wanted something that I feel more, feel more comfortable without wearing the little tank tops on. And I bought this on a whim, tried it on. I was like, oh my God, this fits perfect and all the places that I may have some insecurities about. And I said, you know, what? we're going to break out of our comfort zone today and we are going to go into the gym without a cover up, without a pump cover, without anything and get over ourselves because we have worked so freaking hard to get here. Why not? And the gym's been hella hot lately. It's still a hundred degrees down here. Like, so I was like, you know what? Let's do it. Let's be an example. I tell you guys to wear the damn shorts, which you guys know I do, but also like, don't, be in your own way don't be in your head and a prime example of today with me not wearing a pump cover first off it empowered me the entire time I was in there I felt so freaking fierce and strong and yes when I was looking in the mirror I was still Bev was still in there saying oh girl look at that look at this you know but 
I feel like the positives outweighed the negative Bev. We kind of pushed her to the back burner while we were in there and we made some real good progress mentally with our body image and our body dysmorphia while we were in there. So I was happy about that. And fun fact, it was so weird. So when I went to go leave today, there's regulars in here every day. It's like the same people, which I'm here for. And when I leave the gym, I've never had any of the guys talk to me. I don't, I've, I haven't had anybody really talk to me in this gym. Everybody's in here to work and get their shit done. Planet Fitness, it was the opposite. Like people were like just there to socialize. I feel like a lot of people were, and I made a lot of tons of friends, which I was happy about. And I totally miss a lot of them, but I haven't had anybody approach me in this gym. Really only a couple of random people I've mentioned to you guys. So when I went to leave today, I didn't have my headphones on and I walked out, like you see with my, my bra still on, no, no jacket. I had a jacket on when I walked in and I had three three guys tell me, have a great day, you know, like approaching me as I was leaving. And I was like, huh, the girl's not wearing a, a, a top anymore. And now all of a sudden people want to talk to me. I don't know what that was all about, but it made me feel good. You know, it made me feel good that, you know, people are wanting to talk to me and maybe it was because they didn't notice me before. I don't know, but you know what? It, it they was, they were nice and it made me, made me feel good and overall empowered that I did something out of my comfort zone. So what I'm trying to say is I challenge you today to do something that you've wanted to do, but you've been too uncomfortable or too self-conscious to do. Whether it's wear a pair of shorts you've been wanting to wear to the gym, but instead you've been wearing the longer ones because you think somebody's gonna look at you or somebody's gonna judge you, or if it's not wearing a top and just wearing your sports bra today and freaking killing it, whatever it is. It doesn't even have to be in that whole element genre, but do something that challenges you today to push you out of that comfort bubble. Get out that comfort bubble, guys. I'm telling you, it was a revelation today. So that was my little experience today, but I'm ready to lift heavy and hard. So I'm ready to get back to it next week. I did go ahead and prep my protein waffles again last night. I did the raspberry flavor today with the raspberry Kodiak cake mix. It's fire. The blueberries fire, the pumpkins fire. They're all good because Trey has his like uh, annual thing for his disability and the guys come into the house today at noon. So I had to make sure that I had that done. I really need to go grocery shop Shopping, but that's gonna have to wait till tomorrow. So it's been a crazy busy week with appointments after appointments and scheduled things. Waylon's got a baseball scrimmage today, but you make time for what's important to you guys. Make yourself a priority. And also you're gonna do all the other things anyway, right? So just a lot, a little bit of time for you each and every day to make yourself 1% better than you were yesterday. It can be done. There is time. We all get the same time. Nobody gets more time than you. Nobody gets an extra five hours than you, an extra hour to go to the gym. Everybody is prioritizing what's important to you. You just have to discipline your mind and make it a priority to you. And you will find out real quick that you have more time than you think. night center is the leftover crack burgers we had one more to have tonight the hubs and i and then we ran out of the or, or ida french fries from sam's club i told you if you watch the grocery hauls that big old bag wasn't gonna last that long these are the alexia golden yukon ones we had a little bit left and i think i have a little bit of their tater tots and i have to buy some more because we are totally out we've been eating a lot of meals with french fries or tater tots on the side just to make life easy right now and we got all the same toppings for the macros popping up for meal number what is this meal number four for thursday 10 minutes to eight never skip dessert we're doing a protein bar surprise surprise i know but we just got back from the ball field Waylon had his first scrimmage awesome game so we're going to end with something easy and we've got our last day of our deload for lower body number two tomorrow
happy Friday. Happy last day of our deload week. We had lower body number two today. And let me tell you, just because we are deloading, I feel especially with today's lower body, I'm soaking wet. I'm, it was still a killer burn. And I'm kind of worried. I'm not going to sugarcoat it about back squats next week because we did half the weight today. Now, granted, I'm doing a lot of reps. I've only been doing like one to two reps on the heavy weight, but they were like hard. All right. Not hard, but they were hard. Okay. Let's just say I, I was not struggling, but I was like, damn, all right, this feels hella heavy at half the weight. But again, we were doing a lot more reps. So there is that, but felt so good and had enough energy to be able to do a little bit of like jiving and break dancing in between hip thrusts, which tells me that the weight was was super low because usually during hip thrust, I'm contemplating life and wanting to die on the floor. Last week, I told you guys, I didn't even want to finish my workout. That's how bad it was. So I was like, mm, yeah, the weight's probably light because we're having a little bit too much fun up in this gym. Of course, you want it to be fun. You want your workouts to be enjoyable. You understand what I'm saying, but I am excited for next week, especially y'all know upper is probably right now. Currently my favorite training days is my two upper days. I'm super excited to go in there and hope hopefully hit PRs and break my own records. Me versus me always never compare yourself to someone else. Guys always try to beat yourself because you are you and you're one and only you. You can't compare yourself to someone that's the same age, the same height, all the things as far as their macros, their training, like what they're lifting. You are your own person. So always just compare yourself to yourself and strive to be 1% better than you were yesterday equates winning. I am feeling hella hungry though today. I'm, I mean, the shark's supposed to be coming next week. I guess that's what it is. Usually a few days before it arrives, I'm like ravenous. I don't know about you guys. Comment down below how things work for you, but I am starving and that's no bueno because it's 10 o'clock and I've got to go to the grocery and I'm going inside, inside, you heard me, not doing grocery pickups for not one, but two stores like this could be a problem i have everything in my walmart like cart like i was gonna do a pickup but my schedule has been crazy this week so i couldn't go to aldi yesterday so i'm going to all the places today inside so i'm gonna try to stick to my list but being that i'm going inside and i'm hungry yikes not recommended y'all not recommended also let's appreciate this i'm uh, working on my booty um shut up Shein. Y'all, I get everything from Shein, Amazon, where else? Uh, just Shein is the poo, okay? Shein gets a, it's a lot of bad rap. Everybody's all pro Timu. I don't know why. Look, Timu's reached out to me a thousand times wanting me to do sponsored videos. Do you see a sponsored video from Timu here? No, because I only show you guys what I truly love and enjoy no matter what authenticity around here. I'm jacked. I'm jacked and pumped and hungry. Wow, this is going to be great going into the grocery stores. I hope you're having a kick-ass day. I want to mention that I'm so proud. I've been calling them my shred heads. <laughs> Don't ask me where I got that from. My shred heads for the next level shred have been killing it this week one. I'm so excited to see everyone's progress. I've only had a few people check in with me already, but what I'm getting as far as check-ins and responses though is what's more important to me than a scale always. But to hear y'all's mental like epiphanies is just everything to me as a coach. Like I had somebody write on Instagram and it just made my freaking morning and had me jacked to come to this gym that they have been working since the pandemic on working on themselves and losing weight. And for the past, forgot what she said, how many weeks, but it's been like a month. She's lost eight pounds. But in this first week, she lost like three and a half pounds on the next level shred. And she's eating way more food than she was few weeks prior and she lost a crap ton of weight this week one and she's prioritizing her protein which she says she has not been doing is eating more and prioritizing protein so guys when I'm telling you guys stuff and my girl Tara shout out to you she mentioned in our zoom she's like trust Nicole she knows what she's talking about I'm coming from experience guys I'm always trying to tell you guys what I'm I'm constantly learning I'm an open book but I have been there done that and experienced it you cannot say all coaches online have experienced and went through weight loss been overweight their entire life like went through different forms of weight loss now starting strength training learning on all those things but i've learned the past three years with strength training so i am trying to 
teach you guys the mistakes that I've made so you don't make the same ones and you can kind of get a level up on me. I wish I could go back in time when I first lost my initial 85 pounds and strength trained then. I would be a totally different person now because that was over 10 years ago. Like the cre I think about it all the time. I'm like, how crazy would it be if I would have implemented what I'm doing now 13 years ago? It's it's crazy and I, I wish, you know, you coulda, coulda, shoulda, woulda, but we're doing it now. And that's all that matters is that we didn't keep wishing and hoping and praying and waiting for some kind of miracle because there is none. You've got to act. You've got to show up and do the damn thing for anything to happen. We've been doing that. We're getting results, so I can't be mad about it. So proud of my, my next level shred participants. Y'all are killing it. Crush this week too when you're watching this and just keep that momentum going. All right, let's keep this momentum going and this energy, but let's hope I don't spend $1,000 at the grocery store because I'm next level starving. Mm, this is not gonna be good. Three hours later, not even being funny. Three hours later, one o'clock. What the actual hell? Grocery shopping? You wanna get your steps in? You wanna get a little extra? Go in the store. Don't do pickups. Go in the stores. Whew, y'all watch the grocery hauls, y'all. So we switched things up because I need to get a lot of food in and I didn't feel like eating like multiple big meals. So I'm eating one hellacious meal right now. I'm gonna eat a snack, which y'all haven't seen me do, and then we're gonna eat dinner, of course. And I added a little bit to my dessert and that should put me where I need to be protein wise all the way so dang you can like do things on the fly guys I don't recommend it but if you have something already plugged in you can switch it up for sure and maybe I'm just making excuses because of this so when I went into Aldi they had this maple streusel and apple streusel streusel I can't even talk I'm so starving breakfast bread it's like cake almost it's like slices of cake so i didn't air fry it i'm gonna eat it straight up i'm gonna let you know which one i think is better in your 150 calories on and your money because they weren't like they were like three something a piece i got some banana on there i need some carbs i got some cinnamon on there helps with inflammation i put that ish on everything uh that should be like cinnamon slogan except for that hot sauce you know what i'm talking about that commercial i got some of the carving board slow cooked ham it is 60 calories and 11 grams of protein for two ounces which is what you see i haven't tried it yet but i like the one for from Aldi, but we're switching things up. 250 grams of liquid egg whites and then a serving of the good culture cottage cheese on there with some everything but the bagel seasoning for the macros popping up. A huge meal, but I need to get this food in and I'll update you on the breads. You wolf that down entirely too quickly. Don't do this at home, kids. Don't do this at home. Get your meal in, you know, two hours, I would say. Don't go beyond two hours. Don't be like me and go three hours. No bueno. Okay, verdict on these breads. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Maple streusel and apple strudel. I have to go with the apple strudel is the winner. So freaking good. It tastes like dessert. I'm like, oh, is this breakfast bread? Yeah, it says it's breakfast bread. Damn. I am going to be like putting this on repeat for show. It is so good. Now, this one's awesome too. Don't get me wrong. This one's fire, but it tastes kind of similar to your like standard cinnamon raisin bread. It's got those flavors, but you do get the flavor of the maple. It's pretty strong in there in certain bites, but this one, it's a winner. If you like apple, get this one. This was the last loaf they had on the shelf. I think these were together and that was the only one they had. They had plenty of the maple, but I was like, oh, there must be something up with this apple and damn there is because it's, it's fire. Get it in your life. Mm, 150 calories and you can definitely allot it guys as you guys saw with some protein and you don't have to do two slices. That's 300 calories. You can do one. So if you're in a calorie deficit, it can still be done. You can still enjoy the things. It's 3.30, y'all usually don't see me snack anymore. I usually stick with three big meals and then my protein bar usually for dessert. But because we're eating, or we started eating so late in the day, it happens. I try to avoid it, but even it happens to the best of us, right? So I've got a trusty Fairlife shake. Y'all haven't seen me drink these in a hot second. I took these on our little lake house trip and poured in my coffee. But other than that, I haven't been really reaching for protein shakes. I'm trying to get it from real sources. Is this bad to drink? Absolutely not. It comes in clutch in times like these. You shouldn't be dependent on this stuff though for every freaking meal though, I will tell you. Try to eat real food as much as possible. But for times like this, this is when you want to reach for it. So we've got 150 calories and 30 grams of protein. Y'all let me know if you are having an issue finding these. I haven't seen them at my Sam's Club in probably over a month. I hoarded these and I'm, I'm keeping them hiding away. The hubby takes these. These are the only ones that are good on his tummy. And then I found these today in my grocery haul. I have been searching for these for a hot second. 
the Dan and Light and Fit Greek Toasted Marshmallow flavor. Y'all comment if you've tried this one. 80 calories and 12 grams of protein for this guy. I cannot wait to try it. I've heard it's fire. And then we've got eight grams of my favorite granola, which is the Purely Elizabeth Maple Almond Butter. This one's hard to find. I know Whole Foods sells it, and then I get mine from Thrive Market. It's constantly sold out, though, on Thrive, so check. But it is hands down my favorite one from Purely Elizabeth. There's the macros comparable to most, but it just tastes the best, in my opinion. So our snack, y'all tell me all the time that protein is an issue for you. This shake and this yogurt cup is 43 grams of protein. Again, we don't want to have this on every meal, but when you need to get your protein up, these are good to like top you off, not to have all the time, have like more than one a day, honestly. If y'all haven't tried this toasted marshmallow flavor, it's fire. I, I'm a fan. Friday night dinner is leftover of the salsa verde pepper jack chicken jalapeno minute rice. I don't know if I mentioned it, but they had it at Dollar Tree. One of you guys told me that and I went and I stocked up. It's like usually $3 almost at Walmart, $1.25. Mm, I got rice wasted. 7.15, never skip dessert. I know, boring. Protein bar, the Bear Bells Caramel Cashew, one of my tops. And then we are gonna top it off with a serving of the Apple Cinnamon Rice Crisps. I think I got these from Winn-Dixie, I think, is the only place I can find the Apple Cinnamon Rice Crisps. These taste so much better than the rice cakes. It's not even funny. Give them a try if you've never tried them before. They're 110 calories for the serving. Weighed up. Macros popping up to end out our D-Lo week. Successful D-Lo week. Feeling good. Ready for this weekend and ready for next week to get back to living, lifting heavy. I'm kind of scared though because I'm like, well, we were lifting light this week and now we're going to go back hard. I'm sure everything's going to feel hella heavy, but hopefully all the hormones from the shark will help me out and I can get back to it. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Give it a huge thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you're new and we'll see you in the next video. Bye y'all.